guys how you doing so today I'm actually gonna share with you guys my everyday kind of like morning routine slash get ready with me routine um, typically I will flat iron my hair so I show you guys just how I go about doing my hair and doing my makeup and what products I use and that sort of thing I had been getting some comments and stuff lately um, requesting this video so even though I know this isn't a normal our family nest video I thought it would be fun to share with you guys so I hope you enjoy and let's get started all right so the first thing I'm gonna use is this Stila CC cream it's a color correcting cream and it is in color medium 04 and I put it on both hands and I kind of just dab it on my cheeks and my forehead. All right, and then next I'm going to use this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I've been using this for a couple weeks. I actually went and got this when I seen um, some reviews on this foundation that this was a good foundation to use when you're trying to cover up scars. And I have like some acne scars on my face and also um, if you look at my eyelids here this is a really good view of what my scars look like after I had surgery I'm five weeks post-op now I had upper and lower blepharoplasty surgery and I made videos um, about that so if you want to check out those you can go check out those and uh, or Google what blepharoplasty surgery is all about but I've already talked about it so but that's why I have these scars here and I don't put it all over my eye um, well you'll see when I rub it in how I kind of do it I had to experiment with this a little bit so I use the blue beauty blender and I kind of just get under my eye real good I have a mirror over here too that's why I'm looking this way it's kind of hard to look in the camera viewfinder thingy but for my eyelids I kind of just do the upper and just try to hit my scar I don't go all the way down on my eyelid because I feel like the more product I put on my eyes the like lower eyelid here the more um, I don't know wrinkly I guess <laughs> they look like almost looks like a uh, alligator skin for concealer for some of these other blemishes that I didn't get real well it's hard to tell if everything is uh oh look I missed the spot it's hard to tell how well I'm doing I'm used to doing my makeup in front of like a makeup mirror that has a light on it so I can get real close up and make sure I have everything blended real well I have the Sony Kashuk I got it from Target it is called, it's an 08 medium, and it is like a concealer kit, and it comes with like, these are creamy, and this is powdery, and you can use like a mixture of the two darker colors, and it does a pretty good job of covering up any blemishes. I tried to film this in my bathroom and there's no window in my bathroom and the lighting was just terrible so I know this works better for you guys to see what I'm doing but not so much better for me this is a new blush I got it's by Clinique and it's in the color 107 sunset glow you can see that there it's a real pretty kind of like a mauve color and I use an angled Mac brush and I kind of pat 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 all here okay because my skin tone kind of has like a natural I don't know maybe olive color to it I don't really do a whole lot with like um, you know bronzer or anything like that I just like to take my blush and kind of just tap it all over at the end like when most of the makeup's already worn off then I use this Laura Mercier I don't know if I'm saying that right it's like a um pressed powder but I don't use the powder brush that came in it um, looks like that it's got like the little holes so the product stored in here and actually I usually will use whatever's in the lid first because you don't want too much of the product as at once and I use this flat brush and I kind of dab it like that and then I get all around my eye first and this just basically helps your makeup your foundation and your blush lasts longer. 
It doesn't have any color or anything to it. It's just translucent. And it kind of just gives it, I don't know, I feel like it just smooths everything out, evens out the color. My makeup routine's pretty simple. I don't really get too crazy with the whole lot. Um, one of the eyeshadows I got is this Clinique eyeshadow, and it's in the color 06, which is called Daybreak. It's a really neutral, light color. And I really like this flat brush. It's by The Balm. I got this at Kohl's. See, it's like just a flat brush. That's really good for putting eyeshadow on when you just want to kind of put it all over. And that's what I do. I don't just put it on my lower eyelid. I kind of put it all the way across. And it's got just a little bit of sparkle to it. To brighten up your eye a little bit or maybe I should say shimmer not sparkle if you don't if you don't like too much shimmer I also got this Clinique color it is nude rose and I'll put that over top of it just to kind of dull down the shimmer a little bit I feel like I got way too much on the corner of my eye there it's okay you get the gist, right? I have this NYX. This is also from Target. It's an eyebrow kit. And it comes with like the little brush and the wax and then two different colors to fill in your eyebrows. I have this brush. It's also from Kohl's by The Balm. And it has like a pointy angled tip or a pointy tip and then an angled tip. I go back and forth which, which one I use. But today um, I'll I'm gonna use this angled brush and I just put some color on here and just real lightly fill in my brow. Like you can tell the difference. I don't use a whole lot and I don't outline it and then fill it in or anything ultra fancy. And then I will take the, <clears throat> I don't, I don't use the wax really that much, but take the brush and just make sure they're all where they should be. For eyeliner, um, if I want just kind of like a more natural eyeliner on my upper eyelid, I'll use this Urban Decay, and this color is called Demolition. And I uh, put this on my upper and my lower eyelid. And then if I want more of like a defined line, I find I've been using a lot lately. It's kind of more of like a marker. I didn't bring it over here. It's um, by Kat Von D, and it's like the tattoo something or other eyeliner and that's more of like a marker that you paint on just real lightly do your upper see nothing real crazy I don't wing it out or anything like that and then for the bottom <clears throat> same thing I go right under my waterline I don't put it on the waterline and sometimes if I end up putting too much or if I need to smooth it out a little bit, I'll just use a Q-tip to smooth it out. But that turned out not too bad. So now I'll do the other eye. All right, and then for mascara, i just been using this little Clinique one. Um, when I bought all the Clinique products, I got like the free makeup bag with a bunch of like smaller sample things in it. And I'm not real particular about what type of mascara I use. I like to try all different ones and I've yet to really find like an absolute favorite that... I just have to use so and I don't go crazy with my mascara either I just do one coat oh and I only do it on my upper eyelashes I don't put mascara on my lower eyelashes for lipstick I have this NYC lipstick that I actually got it was one of those like makeup things that come in the mail and it gives you a bunch of different samples I got this a uh, couple of years ago and I love the color so much it's big apple red that I bought two more and one was in my purse and one was in my bathroom well this is almost gone <laughs> you'll see there's hardly anything left of it so when I was at Target the other day I checked out their they're actually called the butter lipsticks and I don't really like the feel of like full-on lipstick most lipsticks I use I don't like the way it feels but these I really like um, so I tried two different colors here. I have this one is called Sweet Tart and this one is called Fizzies, I guess. So you can see the 
One is kind of pinky, one is kind of reddish. So I think I'm gonna go with the pinky one today. A lot of times I'll just put it just on my bottom lip if I think it might be too dark. I don't like to wear like really bold lipsticks. So I believe that's it. So usually then I'll, once I'm done with everything, I'll look and if I feel like there's not enough color, I almost always do this. Blush is probably like my favorite thing. I'll usually end up adding a little bit more blush because I feel like it just, I don't know, fades so quickly. And I just put one more coat over top of that uh, powder or whatever. So that's it for my makeup. Then for my hair, just super simple. I usually, if I'm gonna flat iron it, I'll usually do it in like two different, well, a couple different sections. Here's my brush. Just so I can get the underneath part really good. And this flat iron that I'm using is by, what was the name of this? Sultra. I got it from Sephora years ago. It came in a kit with the flat iron and the hair dryer, and it's lasted me several years now. I would say this is probably the favorite flat iron I've ever had. It gets pretty hot, and I like that. It's weird, because I definitely feel like I spend more time on my makeup than I do my hair, and I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but it's like, oh, well, my hair looks, my hair's a mess today, but my makeup looks good. <laughs> I don't know. Which do you guys do? Do you spend more time on your hair or more time on your makeup? That's the question of the day. And I know a lot of you younger girls don't even wear makeup yet, and that's okay. And then I usually kind of redo these two front pieces, kind of angle it forward just a little. And I usually don't do anything with my bangs. And then I'll just, oops. And then if I don't want it to look totally flat, because I did go to high school in the late 80s, which was the big hair era. I don't really like super flat to my head hair, even though I straighten it. And that's about it. This is pretty much my everyday look. Pretty simple. I can usually get ready in, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes tops, maybe less if I have to. And that's what works for me. So just want to say thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you guys learned something or at least enjoyed watching and uh, give it a thumbs up. And also on Friday, Carly will be posting her get ready with me video as well. And she actually includes just a little bit of makeup that she likes to wear when she does decide to wear a little bit of makeup for the day. So thanks for watching you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.